All right, peace, family, and shalom. It's your boy, Clutch144, and I'm coming back at y'all like a king with another quick video. In this video, I want to kind of digest my thoughts on how Terrence Bud Crawford beats Errol the Truth Spence Jr. on July 29th on Showtime pay-per-view. Now, in my opinion, and I'm on record saying this, and I've been on record saying this, there's other videos on my channel uh, that I can speak to exactly this. It's my opinion that Errol the Truth Spence Jr. beats Terrence Bud Crawford on July 29th on Showtime pay-per-view. Uh, I believe it's going to be by decision or TKO. I don't think Bud is going to quit. His, his, his trainers may end up throwing in the towel or a doctor may come in and stop it. Okay. But ultimately, if I had to pick one of those three, I think it would be by decision. Okay. And again, I have multiple videos on this channel explaining why I feel that way. Um, but let's get into how Ter Terrence Bud Crawford wins. If he, Because I could be wrong. And if I am wrong again, I'm going to come back on this channel and say, hey, I was wrong. Terrence Crawford was the better man that night. And, um, you know, he, he, he won the fight. But how does he win? If he is to win, how does he win? And in my opinion, Terrence Bud Crawford has to stop Earl Spence early in the fight. And when I mean early, I mean round three, round four. At the latest, round five. Now, if he stops Errol that soon, he must be doing what? He must be very, very aggressive, ultra aggressive, uber aggressive. He can't come out throwing five to ten punches per round in the first four or five rounds and expect to... To stop or, or the true Spence Jr. And so what I'm saying is ultimately if he's aggressive, he has an opportunity to catch him. But even if he doesn't catch him, because he's being super aggressive, he may be able to win some of those early rounds and not go into the latter rounds of the fight down by such a wide margin. I still think if the if it goes to the cards, Errol wins because of his defense. And, and, and just the, his ability to punch, his accuracy. Um, Terrence has a lot of gaps in his defense. Errol does get hit too. I think Terrence gets touched a lot more, in my opinion. Plus, he's never been in a ring with a, with a fighter as big as Errol Spence, as strong as Errol Spence, uh, and, and um, you know, fundamentally sound as Errol Spence. All those things matter. Now, Terrence Crawford is... An amazing fighter. He's super athletic, right? His athleticism is off the charts. Um, you know, his ability to switch and, you know, uh, move around the ring and his dancing ability around the ring. It's, it's, you know, bar none, honestly. You know, he's one of a kind when it comes to that. But I like to use this, this analogy. Imagine running up on a wasp nest and you got about 30 or 40 wasps coming at, wasps coming at you. And they're coming to sting you. And they're coming so hard and fast, you don't know which way they're coming from. You dancing around is really not going to be able to help that. You're going to have to stand in there and fight. Right? You're going to have to be more than just a counter puncher. You're going to have to be the aggressive one. Because if you don't knock Errol Spence out, you're not going to land more punches than him. You can't. You don't just start throwing... <laughs> As many punches as Errol the Truth Spence Jr. does overnight. You don't just come and say, oh, I've been Terrence Bud Crawford my whole life. And all of a sudden now, I'm going to be a different fighter on this fight. For this fight. It just doesn't work like that. So, do I believe Terrence Crawford can be more aggressive early in early rounds? Yes, I absolutely think he can. Can he throw more punches? I think he can. But, ultimately, when we go down to the tail of the tape... When we look at the end of the fight, the more punches are going to be thrown by Errol Spence Jr. The more landed punches are going to be landed by Errol Spence Jr. That's just what history tells us. Right? You don't give... <laughs> I don't expect a 29% three-point shooter to all of a sudden shoot 50% from the three-point line in the playoffs. Right? He may get hot a few games. There's some street shooters. But history is going to be... It's going to always win. 
he's going to always be a more, you know, talented. I wouldn't say skill because skills are defense. Skills are, uh, um, you know, the ability to go to the body, the ability to, you know, have a great jab. Those are skills that you learn. So I wouldn't even say that Terrence is more skilled. I think he's more um, naturally gifted, right? Naturally talented. You know, he, he flows kind of like water in the ring, right? And that's a beautiful gift. But in order to beat Errol Spence Jr., he has to be super aggressive. The most aggressive he's ever fought in his, in his entire life. What Errol has to do is just be himself. And that, to me, is the difference. I don't see... I don't see Spence having to change a whole lot about his fight, fighting ability and his fighting skills um, and his fight plan for that matter. Right. We know he can go in there like a dog, like he did against Sean, Sean Porter. We know he can box. He can stay on the outside and box like he did Mikey Garcia. And if he does stay on the outside and box and sticks with his jab and goes to the body, it's going to be a long night for Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford is going to have to come. And Errol Spence said he's going to come stepping. So if he comes stepping and Terrence don't come stepping at all, it's going to be a short night for Terrence Crawford. Um, Errol Spence has got has a great chin. He's been he's been hit hard by by some some much harder punches, I believe. Uh Carol Brook and um Sean Porter have gone on record and said Spence is a stronger guy. So to me, it's very simple. Um, and it's not hard to tell that Errol Spence Jr. is going to win this by a landslide if it goes to the cards. Um, he could stop him due to, you know, some eye swelling or maybe a, a, a real hard body punch. Uh, both guys have been hurt before in their career. I stand on the fact that that punch that knocked, Ter no, knocked Errol Spence Jr.'s mouthpiece out against Ugas wasn't a hard punch. He wasn't hurt by that punch. It was more like a slap brush punch. It didn't hit him flush. It kind of brushed against his mouth and it knocked his mouthpiece out. Then when he went looking for it, that's when he got hurt. But even then, he wasn't wobbly legged. I, I think it should have been counted as a knockdown because at the re if the ropes had not been there, he would have been knocked down. So I'm going to keep it 100. But I don't think he was hurt. He didn't have a stinky leg. Now, was he hurt against Carol Brook? Yeah, there were spots in that fight he was hurt. But at the end of the day, um, those were very tough, hard punchers. Terrence could crack too, but I just think that Errol's going to be much more focused um, like he's been since the accident. I think Terrence should have fought Errol before the accident, <laughs> to be honest. He may have gotten him, but because he wasn't as focused, he was having fat camps having to come down and wait. Um I just don't see him beating this this version of Errol the True Spence Jr. I just don't. Uh, he has all the momentum. He's winning every single round of the press conference. He seems more confident. Um, he says he's going to break his wheel. He's going to break Terrence Crawford. I don't hear Terrence Crawford saying that. He said, "Is are you?" Uh, um, um, the question was asked to Crawford: Was Terrence going? Was Earl going to be his eleventh knockout victim in a row? And Terrence says, "If he gets out of line." <laughs> and then Earl came right back and said, I've been getting out of line. Since I was young, I've been getting out of line. And he already told you he's coming stepping. So, Terrence, you're going to have to be ready. And I think he'll be ready for everything. I just think the better man will win that win that night. Um, so, hey, listen, let me know what you all think in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. Hit the notification bell so you get all the um, the, uh, access to the new videos ahead of time. I appreciate you all for um, listening. Uh, don't forget to comment below and let me know your thoughts. Who wins and why? Um, and how does how does Terrence Crawf Crawford win uh, if he, he if he's able to be victorious? Again, I'm out. Peace and shalom.